Okay, Emma, you're on. Welcome, everybody. Thank you for joining us uh, for this webinar today. Uh, my name is Alan Kisak, and I am the uh, marketing chair for Maine Summer Cam Camps, as well as the director of Kingsley Pines Camp. Uh, hopefully, all of you have had a chance to see the new website design, which we are all very excited about it. It was a long process to get it where it is today, but we think it's going to have a, a, a really big impact on uh, people finding us and having a positive experience when they reach reach our site. What we're going to do today is we're going to start by looking at a listing so that I can show you all of the different options you have for your camp listing. And then we're actually going to go on and um, update a listing and you can at the same time do it with me so you, we can work through all the different options. If you remember from the uh, previous website, it was fairly limited in what you could do. Uh, you, you had a, a kind of a brief description and, and it was just a block of text. And in the new site, things are very, very, very different. Um, as we're going along here, you will see, some, you will see a, an option to ask questions and you can use that function while we're on the webinar. Uh, it's a, it's a, uh, you'll see it. And uh, feel free to chime in as we go along if there's something that uh, you have a question about, because that will is probably something somebody else is thinking too. Um, we want to take this opportunity to thank our sponsors here at Androscoggin Bank uh, for providing this uh, facility as well as the equipment to make this webinar possible. In general, it's very important uh, that you keep your listing current and that you update it. So I'm very excited that you're with us today. Um, this directory is going to be only as good as each of our listings because we want it to be credible. And so when people come to the site, as they start looking through camps, we want the latest information in each listing. It's going to lack credibility if uh, someone goes to a camp and all the rates and dates are from two years ago, that kind of thing. So it's very, you'll find that it's very easy to update your listing and it's helpful to all of us. It benefits all of us as if you keep that listing current. So um, what we're going to what we're going to uh, start uh, by doing is looking at, at an online uh, listing. Uh, so if you go up to find a camp and you click on find a camp tool, and then you open the search toolbox. Um, what you're going to see over on the left is a, a criteria that people have selected for camps. And what I want to point out here is if you look at Kingsley Pines, which we're going to use an exam as an example today, and what I've done is I've put a lot of different uh, elements into it so, you can, so we can showcase all the options that you'll have. But one element that you'll find is what you see here where it says you can't go very far. That's what's called the message excerpt and there's that's one thing that you have control over so for each camp in the search function you have a, a limited number of words that you can put in there so that people um, will get a brief overview of your camp so then once once they do that you you go to the see more and this is what a, the the listing looks like so you'll see at the top the camp name and the camp name is not something that you can change. That's uh, fixed. Then you'll see right below that there's the camp type and the sessions. And that's something that you have control over. And we, I can show you where that is um, once we start to actually construct a listing. Over on, uh, on the left, uh, you have the option to put either a logo or a photo. So I have put in a logo but you could put a photo there if that was something that you wanted to do. Um, the bit, one of the big differences between now and the old listing is that you have so, many, so much more uh, control over what the text looks like. So it doesn't have to be just a block of text. So for example, in this listing, you can see here I've created headers for the different topics. You can also see that um, you can bold text 
And you can also italicize text to bring attention to it. The other thing that you can do, which is really amazing, is that you can insert links. So if we look here, we say our trained counselors have a genuine interest and compassion for children. Great, so what's that all about? I can link to our amazing staff page. And you could do the same kind of thing. Say, for example, that you had uh, a TRIPS program and that was a big part of your camp. You could link to the TRIPS page. Uh, another thing you can do is that some people have a, a complicated schedule, many different sessions. You can have a link to your rates and date, dates page or your schedule page. So there's so many options. Again, down here, you know, we talk about activities. And here I link to, the, to our activity page that it takes people right there. The other thing that, that you can do is you can also put in a, a list. So here I just used activities just to, to create a list, but you can create this list, bulleted list, and, and that's another option that you have. So after the, so after the description, you also have a chance to put in the ages, the old, oldest to youngest, the year that the camp was founded, and then when the camp season begins and ends. And also you immediately here have a link and where you can link to your web page. <coughs> Down here, this is a tuition per week. Is there's only three options here, and I'll show those to you, and you can pick one of those three. Under the additional here, um, there's a lot. There's several different functions. There's ACA accredited, facility rental, um, whether financial aid is available, uh, whether the camp has a religious focus, focus and special or special needs. You'll see here that the sessions are repeated, and that will be removed. We're still tweaking some aspects of the site. So remember, if you go back up here, right at the top, this is where you have the sessions that you have to offer. And there's several options for that, and I'll show you that in a minute. Contact information over here is something that you have control over and can change. Right. We'll show you how to edit that. Next, you'll have activities, and you can um, put in whatever activities you want and have. The next option you have is to put in a video, and you can do that simply from uh, pasting in a link from you know, YouTube or Vimeo, that kind of thing. And then finally, you have a, a picture gallery, uh, one, and you can paste in whatever pictures you like, and when people click on it, they get a gallery um, of your photos. I'm going to add, there's only nine photos in the gallery. And don't uh, add any more. Nine photos. Okay. Uh, So the next, um, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to the login page. And this, so what I'd like you to do here is to go to the login, your, your login page with me and log into your camp. So um, let me just find, so if you go here to camp members and you click on camp login. So go ahead right now and log into your page. I am already logged in. So I'm going to go right there, and we're going to talk about how to actually update your listing. One of the things that when Ron had sent out um, the invitation for this event, he, he asked if you guys would have some type of description readily available. So if you have that, that's awesome, and we're going to, we're going to paste that in in just a second. Um, and hopefully some photos so we can add those too. So we're just using Wallinox listing today just as an example, and we're going to actually take out um, their text for right now. Um, and so right now you somewhere have some text or something. I have some text that I've put into Microsoft Word that I'm going to go over and I'm going to copy so that I can paste it into my listing. So I go back to the listing, 
And so let's talk a minute about pasting. So I know some of you are on Macs, and I know some of you are on PCs. So if you're on a PC, what you need to, what you want to do is right click and see where it says paste as plain text. That's what you want to paste. You don't want to use this paste. You want to use paste as plain text. If you're on a Mac, you want to do the same thing, and the way to paste this plain text on a Mac is to uh, use Option, Shift, Command, and V all at the same time to paste it in. Again, that's Option, Shift, Command, and the letter V, and that will paste it in as plain text. We're going to rebuild this kind of the same way that I had showed you that the completed Kingsley Pines listing was a minute ago. So first off, we go to safe surroundings. And safe surroundings, we want to make this a header so it stands out. So if you go up here, you'll see that you have the option to either format text as a paragraph, a header two, or a header three. A header two is larger than a header three. So I'm going to make this a header two. And there we go. And then we also had activities as a header. So we make that as a header. And we had enriching environment. We make that as a header also. Now you, you can also, as I said before, you can bold text and that kind of thing. And so let's say that um, you think free to just be a kid is something you'd like to emphasize. You can bold it right up there like that. Same kind of thing if you thought that camp gives kids a true sense of who they are. In that sentence right there, you could also do it in italics. You could also bold italics if you want. These are all options to emphasize points that you want to make. As far as the list goes, all you have to do is select all the elements and then go right up here and you'll get a list. You can also put in links like we said before. So here, for example, what um, we wanted to do is we wanted to link to our activity page. So we're saying we have a, a variety of waterfront, outdoor adventure, sports, and art activities. So we do that and we go up to here. Where, excuse me, sorry. Variety activities, okay. And that's right here where we go insert a link. So we need a link to insert there. So we're gonna go back here to this page to get the URL, which is this up here. And then we go and we paste it in. Now, there's, below that gives you the option for our title. And you can choose to put in a title or not if you want to. If you do put in a title, when someone hovers over the, um, the link, it'll, it'll display the title name. So if I, if, I just, if I just put in activities... and I hit confirm, then when people hover on it, and you see how it says activities? So you could embellish on that if you wanted to and make that a, a bigger statement. Um, all the wonderful activities at Kingsley Pines, whatever you would want to do, or you can just leave that there's no title at all. Same, same idea again if you had our trained mature counselor. So again, if I wanted to make that a link, I select it. I go up here. I go insert a link. Then I go to our amazing staff page. I copy. Go back, paste it in, and there we go.
This is that message excerpt I told you about that appears in the directory. So if you want to change that, you can. That's limited to 120 words. But whatever you'd, you know, whatever you'd like to say there, you can update that and change that. If you remember back here, we have this logo right here, which can either be a picture or a logo. It's your choice. And this is where, this is where you set that. In order to get the logo in there, you want to add, be able to add some images. And so I'm going to show you how to add images. So you click Edit Images. And um, you can either navigate to the folder where your images are, or you can drag and drop them. So we uh, have some just random images that we found. And um, we're just going to drag them into our listing. Now you can only you can only have nine images, uh, and that so that's the limit that you can use at a, use at a time. So we so we uploaded those. So let's say that you decided that what you want to do is you want to have a logo, and if that's true, then you click here. You can now go to your media library where you have your images and you click on the one that you want to be your logo and you apply. So now we have that as our logo. If you want to add other images to the gallery, then all you have to do is put a check mark on them. If you want to select multiple images, You have to hold down the control button. If you look over on the right, you'll see this attachment details. It has a URL. It has titles, captions. Those things can't be changed. So don't worry about that. So you're selecting the photos that you want, and you can select up to nine of them. And when you hit apply, they are now in your, in your photo gallery. So here we have the fast facts. Um, one of the things that occurred was that um, when they set up the new site, they put information into here, which may or may not be accurate or may or may not be complete. So for each of, each of the contact information and what activities you offer, you still want to check through those and make sure that, that, that they're accurate. So here you put in the youngest age, the oldest age, the, the, the date camp begins and the date camp ends. Uh, here, what I would do is I would add the 2018 just so people can see that it's current and that they know that these, 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 these are the dates for this summer. Now, what, what's great here is that you can uh, put in a link to a video and actually have that video displayed. So um, once we're gonna go get, so this is this is Wallanox video here, and what we're gonna do, so we've navigated here to Vimeo, and all we have to do is copy the link. We go back to the site, we just paste it in. Here you have an option for a website link, and that can be your homepage, but that could be any other page that you want. So if there's a page that you feel is more important to drive potential first-time parents and campers to, then you can put that in too. It doesn't have to be your home page. Uh, one other comment about the video is that right now, many of you have a link to a video that's on the main summer camps YouTube page, those videos are going to be deleted. So if you currently have that as your video, then you're, you're going to want to go in and change it and put in the URL from your Vimeo page or your YouTube page, not the one that's on the main summer camps page. Once again, review the contact information. Make sure that's all correct. Um, and you can change that whenever you want. If you get a 
different fax number or different phone number, you can change that. So now you see here where you have all the categories. One thing to note is that all of these categories that you see here um, may or may not be accurate. So again, look at that. The other thing about these is that they're, they're not mutually exclusive. So by that, I mean you can be both a day camp and an overnight camp. You can be both a girls camp and a family camp. You can have two weeks, three and four week sessions, whatever you want. Um, so when you go through, make sure that you click the ones that are you, but don't click the ones that aren't you because those will also appear. And one of the things that, we're, that I'm going to ask you to do when we get done is to go through and check to make sure that what your listing looks like to the people who are seeing it on the, on the actual website. But we're not, we're, not at that, we're not at that point yet. So, you know, please go through here. Pick the things that are you. So uh, this is, Wallanox actually an overnight camp. It's a girls camp. Um, it has a seven to eight week session and they're ACA accredited. And then these are all the activities. Again, you can check or uncheck whatever activities you want to have. So now we've created we've created the listing. The last super important thing to do is to hit save. Once you you think you're done, what I would want you to do is go to excuse me. Go to find a camp. Open the search tool and click on your camp and make sure what you put in looks the way you want. So uh, we've got overnight camp, we're girls, we're seven, seven to eight weeks. There's our logo, the one that we selected. Um, we've got our text, we've got our headings. Our links are here. We're just going to click on them, make sure they work. Yep. That one works, great, takes us right to where we want to go. Same here, that one takes us right to where we want to go. That looks great. Um, we can check through, make sure that everything looks all right. We've got all our activities listed. So sorry, cannot be played here. I'm not sure what, that, what that's about. Um, we can try another video. Um, but that's not related to the main summer camps website. That's got something to do with Vimeo, and I'm not I'm not sure what that is. Um, but that's why we check it because if something like that comes up, we want to be able to fix it. Um, so what we'll do is we'll grab ourselves. another video and we'll go back to Camp Wawanock. Whoops, passed it. Sorry about that. We'll paste that in. Again, we'll hit the all important save. We'll go back and always you got to remember to refresh your page. You do that different ways on different browsers. And see, there we go, and there's the video. And so, if we if we play it, it'll play with the screen. There we go. All right, and that works. So that's so that's why you check your listing. If you're happy with the way it looks, then definitely you're all set to go. Remember, because you have the ability to edit it, you can change it at any time. If a program fills up, you can say that a program fills up. Um, if you want to say you only have a few spaces left, you can say that. You can link to any part of your website and you can say anything you want. 
It doesn't have to be just a, a block of text. So I would encourage you to be, be not only be creative, but really feature your camp in a way that um, puts your best foot forward. One note about when you log in and users and that kind of thing, you can only have one user for your camp. And you can change your password, but you can't change your username. So if you have multiple people at your camp who want to be able to edit this, that's fine, but they all have to use the same username and password. There's not an individual account for each person. Um, So before, but one other thing to, to, that we want to look at before we go, just a little bit about the site itself. Um, many of you may or may not be aware, but there was a, a large amount of information for members in the old site. And it was behind password protected section. And therefore, a lot of people didn't take advantage of all that information. So when you go here and you see the camp members section, um, let me just point you to a couple things. So you've got your business member directory, uh, and this is just a, a great way to find out who all the business members are and to learn more about them. Um, you also have, hang on here. camp member directory, which a lot of people will find helpful if you're just trying to find another member and give them a call. Um, the awards, all the different awards that we have, the dedication to camping as well, as well as the winners of the Halsey Gulick Award. Uh, registration information for the camp fair, which is coming up soon, if that's something that you want to be a part of. This is all of the legislative information, so how to contact your legislators, both at the state and national level. Then the, gov the governmental affairs report, which comes out uh, with helpful information, that's all there and available to you whenever you need it. Um, many of you know we have a Facebook group. If not, please join. It's a great source of information. Webinars like the one today will be here so that you can go back and look at them or for people who weren't able to attend live today, that gives them the opportunity to get this information at a later time. Um, if you need to know what the regulations are, they're all of the camp regulations and child abuse reporting, everything related to the state government is all right here for you. And then um, our code of ethics. And then finally, the publications and newsletters. So all of the newsletters are now online, the regulation action bulletins, um, all of that information is all there. For you. And as I said before, it used to be behind um, password protected area, which um, prevented people from gain, gaining access to it. And so now, hopefully, this will be so much uh, better for you. If anybody, again, if anybody has any questions, please just type those in right now so that we can um, answer those. Uh, Ron Hall here, and uh, while we wait to see if there are any questions, um, I want to thank, uh, first of all, we have here uh, Kendall from KDK Consulting Group, who was our main stay in building this new website, and then a huge thank you to uh, Alan, who has spent hundreds of hours working with us and trying to build the best possible website we can and um, put together this presentation. So just a huge thanks, thanks to Alan and finally also a huge thanks to Interscoggin Bank for not only 
hosting this webinar, but uh, for agreeing to be our webinar sponsor for uh, 2018. Uh, so I think we have a question that we want to answer. I think Kendall might chime in on on this. Did you want me to go to Arcadia? Yeah. So you were talking about how we can remove formatting. Yes. Automatically, but you can't re remove returns. So if you go to Camp Arcadia, you can see that when the copy. Yeah. So, copy was, yeah, so click on it. So what? See yeah. how the copy's all broken up here. Yeah. So what Ken? So what Kendall is saying is, if you remember when I was talking about pasting in and always pasting in is plain text. So that if you right click, you have the option to do that on a PC, and also for a Mac, if you do uh, Option Shift Command the letter V. If you don't do that, what you see here, what happened in Camp Arcadia, is it kept the returns and it breaks up um, the sentences. So you see it's a warm, friendly, a warm family, and then there's a, there's a return growth end. So what's important to know is that if you do do that, all you have to do is go into your site and delete. So right here, there'd be a space. What you'd see is you'd see family, space, atmosphere. Delete that space, put the space back in, and the return will go away. So it is something that you can, you can undo pretty easily. All right, we're checking our questions. Yeah. Anybody? Hit the center right here. Can you scroll here? Yep. Yeah. So we're just checking on some of the questions that people have to see if there's anything that. Um, Somebody's asking about photo size parameters. Yes, there is a photo size parameter in WordPress. If memory serves, it's anything under eight megs, and you will know if it's the wrong size because it won't upload it. So you're limited to 100 megabytes in photos. Upload size oh, is 100, 100 megabytes. megabytes. And like Kendall says, if you do try to upload too large a photo, it won't, it won't let you do that. Uh, okay, there's one. Are Vimeo and YouTube the only uh, videos that are supported? I would uh, no. I, I'm sure that there are other uh, hosting sites that would that would work. Um, if you if you paste it in, uh, you'll you'll see that. Um, I'm sure there. So those are the like the Vimeo and um, YouTube are the big ones. But there are several others, and then there are ones that are more private, where you're, where you know, you don't have like a public public listing. Something like Wistia, for example. And if you, uh, I'm sure, like a Wistia would work, that kind of thing. Okay, so here's a question about the winter update context. Those are all fully updatable. If you go in uh, to your page, can you show yep. the log mark? I'm just making my way there. Okay, I got a. Um, okay, so if you go to the phone listings right here, so if I wanted to change this phone number, um, which I think is what we're is we're asking, so you mm -hmm. could you could just change this to. If you wanted to, that's all. It's all updatable. Little green check says it's all good to go. I just put a one in there. Now we got it. I can't do it. Yep. Yeah. I would move that. 
that arrow, maybe. That that one. The proposals. Yep. We're still here. We're just checking through some of the questions. Uh, somebody had a question about sessions, and I think one of the things to consider if you feel like the sessions don't meet your needs is um, unclick all of them and hit special sessions. And then up in your bullets, you can... And then, once again, what's awesome about this is that you could then go up here if you wanted to, and you could say sessions, and then instead of this being an activity listing, you know, you could put in session one, and then you could put what the date, you know, what the dates are, for example. But I will say I don't recommend taking out all of the dates. If, if you fit into any of those categories, you should check them up because they will help you come up in the search engine. So there is four week in there. There is eight week in there. Mm -hmm. um, with logins, if people are having difficulty, they need to call the office and talk to Sue and she can work them, walk, walk them through their login and if it needs to be changed, she is able to do it. So. Um, she's there right now, so people could give her a call. I notice uh, Fernwood has a question about logging. There's no, so, so one of the questions was, can you order the photos? There's no way that I know of that you can order the, order the photos in a particular order. Um, I think they just upload in the order in which you place them. Yeah. So if you want, if you want the one on the left, click on that one first. So that was how, so right now the way that they, they went in, they went in in the same order. Can you move that? Nope. So we're still looking at questions here. And... Um, Marianne. So somebody to ask a question about um, where to get the login information. And prior to sometime in the in the past week or so, the login information was mailed to someone at your camp. Um, it it may not have been you, uh, depending on what your what your role is. But that login information was sent out. Again, if you contact Sue at the Main Summer Camp's office, she can give you the contact, uh, the username and login for your camp. We're still just checking over, seeing if we have any other questions uh, from folks. Thank you for all who submitted questions. It's helpful for us to know. Um, one of the people asked the question about do the do the nine images include the logo? And the answer is the logo is actually a tenth is a tenth image. So you can put in nine total images and then also have a logo or another image. Um, I think um, we might have run out of questions from folks. Thanks for submitting those. We're going to take one last look here. Um, well, thanks for joining us today. I hope you found this was helpful. I personally hope that you'll Get out there and really jazz up your listing and put your best foot forward. So thanks, everybody, and uh, good luck with your listing. <laughs>